What is up, my Fortnite fam? My name is Cody, and this is Stewie, and a brand new season has begun. With that comes a ton of new changes that you're going to need to get used to if you want to succeed and climb up through Arena. Up until March 23rd, we're going to be in the Season 6 preseason, meaning we've still got a while to wait before our Arena points reset. And that also means we've got a while to familiarize ourselves with how to climb in Arena extremely fast in the coming season. So hit that sub button and let's get into it. But hey, before any of that, make sure you check out our ongoing Pro Guides Pro membership giveaway. Follow the link down in the description to be in with a chance of winning a year's subscription to the Pro Guides site where you can enjoy master courses by some of the biggest pros like Clicks. You'll also have a chance of winning four VOD reviews or even an exclusive Pro Guide shirt. With all that said, let's get into today's tips. As with any of the new Fortnite season, there have been a whole bunch of changes to the Fortnite map. Though this time around, those changes are actually pretty straightforward. In Chapter 2 Season 5, the center of the map was made up by a sprawling desert, filled with rotation tools like sand tunneling and consumable teleporting rocks. In Chapter 2 Season 6, you better get used to walking on foot, because all those high-speed rotation options have been taken away. This season, most of the map changes have been isolated to the center of the map so far, with a couple of new POIs being added to the area alongside some changes to some pre-existing POIs. A huge step in dominating any season, including the current one, is to understand the new changes that have happened on the map so that you can use them to your own advantage. Basically, you should make it your priority to familiarize yourself with every single new POI on the map, especially since they're focused on the center of the map where you're going to be rotating a large majority of the time. These POIs include the Guardians of the Woods, the Mountains, the Bay, the Sea and the Fields, as well as the Primal Ponds, the Spire, Colossal Crops, and the Bony Burbs. Some of these POIs are simply changes to pre-existing POIs. For example, Salty Towers became the Bony Burbs, but it is still important to land at all of them early on in the season so that you can understand all of the changes that have been made. It seems like a pretty obvious concept, right? Familiarity with the new map and terrain changes on it are extremely important with the current state of competitive Fortnite. Right now, being able to score a good and uncontested landing spot in Fortnite has proven to be essential to success in tournaments. And the same can be said for Arena. By taking the time early on in a season to master and familiarize yourself with the brand new landing spots, you'll increase the number of drop spots you're comfortable with. That'll give you a competitive advantage. Woo! Have you learned the map but still can't come out with the win? Head on over to ProGuides.com where our coaches will bring you up to speed with everything you need to know in Season 6 so you can improve fast. The next thing you need to do to succeed in Chapter 2 Season 6's Arena Mode is to recognize that the shotgun meta has once again changed and then begin to adjust your playstyle to match it. In Chapter 2 Season 5, the shotgun meta was changed drastically. Pumps were removed and the shotgun pool consisted of charged shotguns, tack shotguns, lever action shotguns, and the powerful Dragon's Breath shotgun. But just like when Chapter 2 Season 5 was added to the game, Chapter 2 Season 6 has changed everything all over again. In this season, all four of the previous shotguns have outright been removed from the game. Now, I don't know about you, Fortnite fam, but this might just be the most drastic change we've ever witnessed when it comes to shotguns in Fortnite history. The shotgun loot pool has done a complete 180, bro. First off, the pump shotgun is actually back in Fortnite. The addition of the pump shotgun is absolutely huge. It was one of the biggest questions most players had going into the new season. This new pump is pretty much the same old Chapter 2 pump that we've come to know and love. It's not as strong as it used to be back in Chapter 1, but it is still no slouch. Other than the pump though, we've got two new shotguns that have been added to the game. There's the Primal Shotgun and the Makeshift Shotgun. The Makeshift Shotgun is a pretty interesting one. It only has two shots and works pretty similarly to a pump, but it isn't as bad as it sounds. Using crafting items, you can upgrade it into either a pump shotgun or a primal shotgun. The primal shotgun is a different beast altogether. It's pretty similar to the drum shotgun. 
So if you can get up and close to your enemies, it's sure to lay down the pain with a blitz of point blank shots. If you're truly looking to dominate in Chapter 2 Season 6 and rise up through the arena ranks, then mastering the new shotgun meta as early as possible is going to be vital. From how things are looking, this season is going to be pretty up close and personal. In Chapter 2 Season 5, with both the charged and lever action shotgun being available, a lot of shotgun fights were taken from more of a medium range. This season, it looks like things are going to be much tight and close quarters. In other words, you should probably start grinding some box fight maps. Don't be lazy, time to grind. For today's question of the day, I want to ask you about the shotguns. Do you think Epic made the right move by taking out every shotgun from the past season? Or do you think the Fortnite meta is now going to be ruined beyond belief? Let us know in the comments down below. And oh yeah, we will be reading every single one of them. The next thing you need to learn in Chapter 2 Season 6 if you want to dominate and rise up through the ranks of Arena is the brand new ways that you can use the gold you earn through completing various NPC quests. Gold, which was added in the previous season, seems like it's going to be a staple mechanic going forward through the seasons. Only now, it is even easier to acquire. One of the biggest changes to gold this season is its availability. In the last season, you were pretty confined when it came to acquiring gold. If you didn't find it on the floor, you either had to pick it up off eliminated opponents or through activating NPCs throughout the map. Now sure, the activation of these bounties hasn't changed at all, but it's definitely easier to acquire gold. In this season, there are a load of new NPCs hidden throughout the map, and a new variety of bounties, ranging from farming materials to hunting wildlife, can be completed. It's now easier than ever to find the gold, which is pretty good because there are also some new things to spend it on. For example, some NPCs now actually let you disguise yourself as a prop for the right amount of gold which seems pretty busted. There's a bunch of NPCs out there, so who knows what some of them might be offering for the right price. What we do know is that if you want to dominate and get as high as possible in Chapter 2, Season 6's Arena Mode, then you need to familiarize yourself with all the new bounty systems, as using them will prove vital in coming out on top. The final major aspect of Chapter 2 Season 6 that is essential to learn so that you can rank up through Arena as fast as possible is understanding the brand new weapon upgrade system. Now, obviously, in previous seasons, you were already able to upgrade your weapons. At first, it was through upgrade stations. Then later on, it was through the NPCs that were scattered across the map. Well, in this season, that's all drastically changed again and understanding the changes to upgrades is key if you want to maximize your potential in Chapter 2 Season 6. In this season, you actually have the ability to upgrade the weapons in your inventory directly. If you click your inventory bind, you'll notice a brand new tab on the top right labeling Crafting. Here, you can upgrade your weapons anywhere at any time. Now I know what you're thinking. What do I need to upgrade my weapons this time? Well, that is a pretty good question. Thanks for asking. Because you won't be using normal mats or gold. Instead, you'll be using a brand new mechanic that has been added to the game in this season. You'll need to scout the map for bones and mechanical parts that can be used to upgrade your weapons in rarity. But that's not all. If you have makeshift weapons, you can use these mechanical parts and bones to upgrade your weapons into normal versions of the weapons or their powerful primal forms from my very own inventory. Woohoo! The weapon upgrade system in this season of Fortnite is deep and nuanced, so there's a lot you're going to need to learn. The best move would be to take the time early on in the season before Arena resets to understand the full potential of the mechanics and how they might affect your gameplay if you want to dominate the season. Okay, Fortnite fam, let's recap everything that we have learned in today's video. First and foremost, as with any new Fortnite season, you need to familiarize yourself with any and all map changes that have occurred so you can have a wide variety of comfortable landing spots and so that you can rotate with ease. Next up, you need to recognize and adapt to all the shotgun changes in the new season. 
All four of the shotguns that were in Chapter 2 Season 5 have been removed and replaced. It's going to take a lot of time for all the players to learn the new shotgun meta, so the faster you master it, the faster you'll be able to dominate. Then, learn and understand the new gold systems that have been added to the game. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5, the gold system has undergone a minor overhaul with new challenges, new NPCs, and new rewards to purchase. Learning the ins and outs will be instrumental to your success. And finally, maximize your potential by familiarizing yourself with the new weapon upgrade system. This is arguably the biggest change to the game this season and will be a huge factor in giving yourself an advantage in game. With every new season it comes a new chance to rise up through the ranks, to begin your path to forging your own story. And if you want to give yourself an even better chance at success, then check out the rest of our channel, where we upload new Fortnite tips and tricks all the time. Also, sub to the channel if you haven't already, because at 1 mil, we got the story of our very own Keith Allen coming out. That's it for the video, though, so best of luck grinding out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm about to go dip out with Stu. We got dog things to do. Goodbye, say goodbye. Bye. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.